want your legacy to be career-wise and personally? I think about that a lot. Uh, legacy, I just want to have, leave an imprint on my community, uh, specifically in South LA, and I want um, to be known as someone who used her platform to make sure others got their foot feet in the door. I've seen like a lot of your other movies, uh, Everything is Everything, The Weeknd, and a lot of it touches on the importance of the mother-daughter relationship. Why take that approach when talking about love story? I don't know. You know, I come from a very strong family of women. I was very close with my mom. My mom was very close with her mom. I grew up close to my great-grandmother. So those relationships generationally meant a lot to me. And I'm always kind of exploring how those relationships affect our whole life. Well, there's so many uh, facets of blackness being shown on the screen nowadays. What's something you want to see more of or that you love seeing now? I think it's dope that we're seeing a lot of different qualities of black love. Like we see it with the horror as, as backdrop and like Get Out. Or we see Queen and Slim, which is a whole different thriller, fantastical element with some horror elements. And now you see Photograph, which I think is just simple and pure and it's up the gut. I think we hit a strike in terms of just like purity because uh, love is complex and we got to see different we got to see different qualities it can't it's not one mon monolithic thing questions about black joker right because i heard I, I i know about black joker and i just, I just want to know your synopsis of your black joker movie because mine is a little crazy but i want to know yours huh, i haven't really thought about it um i don't really know i'm just hoping somebody writes one that's dope enough to where i feel like I have a character that's well fleshed out, that's well thought about, well thought out, that's intelligent, smart, that can blow stuff up but have a little bit of meaning and integrity behind it in some strange way. Um, but if I see that, then I'm definitely down with it. How has niche marketing helped contribute to your success? Niche marketing? Yes. You know what? At the end of the day, I make my movies for everybody. But it's important that the core audience that sees themselves in my films, that they know about it. And that's what niche marketing does. I, I've noticed that you've become really intentional about the roles you take on and the stories you tell. Why is that? I just think, you know, I, I remember growing up and looking to, you know, Dustin Hoffman and looking to, you know, Tilda Swinton and looking to Brad and Leo. And I was like, well, I, w I wish there was more than, you know, just Denzel and, and wish there was more than just Sam Jackson. And I was like, and there also was so far in my age, far away from my age range. And then I finally got Michael B. Jordan. You know, I finally got Nate Parker. I finally got these 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 versions of myself that I can identify in. But I think with I also found myself to be slightly, you know, unique. And Le Lakeith this a little bit reminds me a little bit more of myself. And I thought it was important that I was taking on roles that, you know, that normally wouldn't go to me. That if I read the script, it would say probably white. And I would go, we can do that part too. So my roles have been to challenge you know, audiences and challenge directors in Hollywood to not only ask me questions about my experience, but learn about it and, 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 and incorporate it into their films so that they don't, they, they don't just have to be these, 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 these one-dimensional, only political black films. They can be black films because we experience everything. And you can learn the nuance to us through me. Speaking of complexity, how has like your understanding of love changed? Or what did you realize you, didn't even, you, you never knew what love was? How has it went through through working on this film? My experience with vulnerability, like vulnerability is a very hard thing, especially sometimes as a man, just in the society we live in, to sort of lean into. But it's a requirement, a pleasurable or rewarding requirement, but a requirement nonetheless of finding love, whether that be romantic love or love with your craft, what it is you do, just I think allowing vulnerability. That's the Hollywood has this fascination of repackaging and reselling us our childhood right now yeah. with all the but there's so many other creatives out. What are your thoughts about that? I get the instinct to do that um, because people are so desperate. You know, not, people aren't going to the movies anymore. Or they're not buying certain things. They're buying into certain TV shows and so uh, the instinct is to be like let's just give them what they already like. You know, and I think in some ways it robs us of our memories. It could, you know, ruin certain certain franchises or projects that we hold dear to our hearts but you know in some cases there's an opportunity to improve upon those things i do think that if people are going to reach back in time they should go choose things that didn't do well and try to make those better for now what, what are your thoughts about older black romance movies because we were having a debate about how some of them were toxic they were great but like Putting justice is a little toxic compared to like uh, love and basketball, which you kind of understand it. How? What are your thoughts on the classic black movies and their definition of love? 
I think uh, life is a little toxic sometimes. So sometimes the art that comes as a result going to be a little toxic. But uh, these days, um, I'm interested in moving the dial forward and creating new versions of the old things that we saw. And that's what I really like about this movie. It's sort of an updated version of some of the things that we've seen before. And I just hope we continue to keep doing that, you know? I want to switch it up because I know you've been answering questions about black love. Yeah. But this weekend, I know you're getting ready for that celebrity basketball game. You know it. You know it. So I need to know, like, what's your eye look looking like? Like, are you the cis person or are you, like, making that so. I told Quavo this. 15 and 5. 15 and 5? That's what I'm looking to get. 15 and 5. I don't know if it's going to be 5 turnovers, 5 assists, or 5 rebounds. But that 5 going to be there. Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz you said was mine? Where is the buzz? <laughs>